everybody, um, I am back to make a video about multiple sclerosis and cold weather. Um, basically, you'd think it'd be great for us, right? Because we're so horrible in the in the heat, you'd think that, that oh, cold weather would be great. Wrong. Um, unfortunately, a lot of us have issues in the cold, just like we do in the heat. Um, but it's, it's a little different. Um, usually what the cold will bring on for people with MS is we'll get real stiff um, to where it hurts. So our arms, legs, fingers um, get real stiff, and in trying to move them, almost it almost feels like, like if you're if you bend too hard, that it's gonna break. It it your joints ache and and hurt. Um, for somebody that doesn't have MS and hasn't experienced this, maybe I could say that um, for for them it would be like when you're out shoveling the snow, um, and you've been out there for two hours and your legs are just frozen, and then you come inside, and then when you come back inside, you actually have, um, you actually are, are stiff. That's what, that's what it feels like for us. But we don't have to be out in the elements to feel that. Like, once we start, our body gets cold, that's, we get that stiffness real easily and, and have that feeling, and it doesn't go away quickly for us. We'll wake up having that feeling. Um, Another thing that we'll get a lot in the winter months is spasticity in the cold. What that is is where um, you will either jerk, so you might be sitting there and like um, your arm will jerk a little bit or your leg will jerk a little bit, um, and those can go anywhere from mild to to major, um, like a Parkinson's style jerking, um, and it just depends on your MS how your body handles it. Um, the other thing that you'll get is like muscle twitching. So you, that's in with the spasticity where your muscles will just start twitching and, and kind of going crazy. Um, and it's from the cold weather. And uh, so your muscles will start jumping. And um, there's really nothing you can do uh, besides try to warm yourself up. My suggestion to everybody out there is that when you're trying to warm yourself up, be cautious because you can actually go from one extreme to the other. So you're going to go from being completely cold to now you're so like overheated that you're getting all the symptoms that come along with being um, overheated. So you don't want to do that. You want to be cautious and start by drinking something warm and putting on like a little bit of a warmer layer of clothing. If that doesn't work, then keep adding on just a little bit slowly at a time until you warm up. Um, some people will just jump straight into a super hot shower and then they get the problems with the heat. So you don't want to go from one extreme to the other. Kind of do it slowly and warm your core temperature up with some warm liquids and, and layers. And if you do take a hot shower, just make it a little cooler than you want to. I know you want to go blaring hot because you're frozen and I've had that feeling, but don't do that because you're going to turn around and pay for it on the other end of the scale. Um, so basically I just, this is going to be probably faster than most of my other videos because there's not a whole lot with the, the cold weather, um, as far as, um, details, but it affects us just as much. So don't misunderstand by this being short that the cold weather is not as serious to us with, with the heat because for some of us it's worse. Um, I am just about equal with both of them actually. I mean, I have the horrible symptoms in the, in the summer months, which, if you'd like to go and check out that video I have on MS and heat, kind of explains that. Um, and then I come into the cold where it's, you know, my muscles are stiff. I'm having a hard time getting up and moving around. The, my knees and joints and everything hurt. I feel like I'm, I'm 80. I feel like I'm 80 years old. And it's because of the cold weather. Um, so just be cautious. Pay attention to your body. Also, just because you've never had this issue before, if you're new to MS, know that things can change at any any moment and be different from then on. So just because you've never had issues with the cold before, be cautious still because it can happen at any time. Same with the heat. I had, you know, every person is different. So just always be cautious and always be prepared. Um, if it's colder months, have something warm with you if you go somewhere just in case. Um, it, you know, just be cautious because this can come up out of nowhere. As, as just like any MS symptom, you, we don't get a warning. It just happens. You don't get a, you know, we don't get a signed letter that says, Hey, tomorrow morning, you're not gonna be able to feel your legs. It just happens. Um, so anyway, there's my video on cold weather. Um, if you guys would like to, uh, check out some of my other videos, I'm going to drop the link to my, um, my YouTube channel and all my videos are on there. There's about 17, maybe 20 of them on there. Um, they range from MS and heat, MS and stress, MS and, um, 
uh, memory loss, ugh, duh. Um, just a, a whole bunch of different ones. I've made a lot of different videos on there. And uh, if you guys would like to catch up and, and maybe share some of those, they're on the, my YouTube channel. I've also got an MS page called MS Awareness Videos. Um, I post all my videos on there. I also post different MS memes and stuff and educational stuff on that page. So if you'd like to go over and like that page, I'd appreciate it. Um, again, just all the support. I, I really appreciate it so much, you guys. And I'm hopefully back on track again now to be doing one video a week. And um, just share these as much as you can. Talk about MS and bring awareness to people because um, people don't know what you don't tell them. So if you don't share these videos, if you don't tell people about MS, if you don't tell your own story, if you don't do any of that kind of stuff, nobody in your circle is going to know. You're the only person that can get through. So um, be our voice. Um, I just hope you guys are all doing what you can for awareness. So thank you guys for watching, and um, I will be bringing you another video probably this time next week. Thanks. Bye.